I am so sorry. I am so sorry to hear that, but I am um, thankful to have you on today. Okay, so I actually have a couple of PowerPoints that I'm going to share. I'm going to give Aaron um, about how many minutes should I give for people to make their selections, or should I just go ahead and get started? Um, they should be making their choices now. So if they if they haven't, let's say I'm seeing two unassigned. Okay. So we should be good. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Okay. All right. And we'll go here. All right, guys. Um, can everybody give me a thumbs up if you can see this really well? I can still see you. Can you guys see my screen? <laughs> all right. So, um, all right. So, like I said, I'm from the for me currently. I, I see that you have a tab open, but I'm not seeing anything other than a black box. Oh, okay. Hold on. All right. This doesn't bode very well. Now I see right. the PowerPoint. Okay. Give me one second. I'll just share the entire. Just want to share that. Okay. All right, everyone. So like I said, we're from the Discovery Center. Um, and so my main goal today is to speak on who we are. So our mission is to bring interactive science, STEM-focused learning to children, no matter where they are. We want to inspire lifelong love of learning, um, STEM confidence, uh, science literacy. Those are the big things that we're looking um, to help meet. That's the, that's the, um, service we're trying to provide here in Springfield. Now we're located in Southern Missouri. So a lot of our reach is here in Southern Missouri, but this mission we believe is a global mission. And so we actually teach in 33 States and three countries. We teach in Australia, Mexico, and Canada, in addition to 33 States within, um, the United States. So we really want to bring this mission to every um, learner. So a brief history on us. So we opened our doors in 1991 with just a volunteer board. In 98, uh, we realized we needed to be open to the public full time. And in 2020, with um, you know COVID impacted a lot of learning, we decided not only are we going to take our science center and open it up to everyone else here um, in Springfield, but we wanted to kind of revitalize virtual education. And so that's actually the first thing that I'm going to speak with you about. So we offer um, a really cool program called a virtual field trip. And um, after um, we go through a couple of these slides, I'm going to share with you the first half of um, our Magnet Mania virtual field trip and kind of walk you through um, what our uh, students who participate in virtual field trips are able to get. So a virtual field trip allows people who are too far away from us to take a content specific tour of our center. So um, for example, the class we're gonna look at in a bit is called Magnet Mania. You will follow me, it's super embarrassing. It's very cringe as the kids would say. I really turn on the ham factor and I'm like, welcome to the Discovery Center. And we've got some of our students in the video as well. And we take a tour of the center and we're talking about magnets. So every exhibit that has to do with magnets or has to do um, with the different um, objectives and standards that we're covering in that class, we will tour an element of that part of our center. We also offer the same class for chemistry. So we have our own learning laboratory here um, that does research with both, both Missouri State and Drury. Um, and so we take a tour of that research lab and then we do activities based off of what we've seen. Similarly, we have a huge energy gallery. And so for our Energize Me class, we will take a tour of energy and then we will do some hands-on activities based off of that. Now, the cool thing that I love about our virtual field trips is our virtual field trips are 
um, provide each student their own individual kit. So while none of our programs are free, um, I think we have tried our best to make sure that what we're providing each student and each group um, is really worth it. So each child gets their own kit um, and it's not something that's consumed immediately in one class. I think the only class that has um, items where you'd probably use them all up in class is our chemistry program. But for, for example, our magnet program, our kids build a chamber, they're able to use that chamber um, and take it home and they're able to repeat the same exper experiments that they did with us during the school day or in this case, after school. Um, and the cool thing about our virtual field trips is we've done that for our own kids. Um, we opened a school during COVID. And so um, we, a lot of the things that we do virtually for um, students now, we beta tested when we had kids out sick during COVID last year and even during our virtual support care. Um, so these are really hands-on. Um, each kid gets their own individual kit and they span a lot of different um, types of classes. Um, I think the only class I did not mention, we also have a, a escape to space. So an astronomy based class. And we also have a being me human body based class where kids are able to look at their cells. Okay, so I said earlier that we can either send it to you via UPS or we can come to you. And so um, nobody is, no one is too far away from us. And so um, if it takes a day, we will drive there and we will come right back um, to bring all different types of programming to you. Um, we've got a lot of different outreach programs that are all standard align. They're all hands-on um, and they allow students to really be introduced uh, um, to STEM in a way that um, I think is innovative and engaging, and it really allows kids to see that kind of light bulb moment. Um, so this is our outreach programs. In addition, we also like to invite people into our to our center to see for themselves. So obviously, many of us are from all different parts of Missouri and all over. And so being able to come into the building isn't always an option, but our virtual field trips are something that I think um, really give you the same feel of walking through our building as um, when you visit um, with your kids in person. So the only difference between our field trip programs and our outreach programs is we have a lot more, pro um, a lot more options that we will bring to you. Um, but realistically, honestly, any class, any STEM concept that you guys want to cover, we're willing to cover it. We have written classes. Um, you know, our chemistry class really goes just to eighth grade. Um, but we have written um, AP chemistry lessons. We've done all the way up to um, 12th grade standards on certain STEM topics, because we really just want to make sure that anything you're trying to teach or any type of activity that you're trying to do is as hands-on and is as engaging as possible. Oh, okay. All right. So when you have an informal science program from us, there are a couple of things that we believe informal science are. And so we believe that it is ubiquitous, we believe that it is equitable, and we believe that it provides compelling ex experiences, um, that it adapts to the environment in which it's given, and that it has a flexible assessment. Um, so all of the programs that we offer, whether it's virtual, whether it's outreach, whether it's summer camp, um, we, they're not just scripts that we hand a STEM instructor and we come off and we just do rote memorization. We try to tailor each of our classes and each of our programs to your students. Um, none of our experiences, while the materials might be the same, are ever taught in the exact same way. Um, each one of them is, is specific to the group of kids or whatever age our learners are specific to them. 
Do you guys have any questions? I think we're still having trouble seeing the slides. Would they, those oh. be available for us? Um, yeah, they would be. I'm really sorry. It's That's saying, good. okay. I think if you just moved out of uh, the display part, the full screen of yours, and just go with the slides themselves, unless it's got stuff on there you don't want people to see. Oh, Because no, it was looking it perfectly fine until you hit the full screen. So. Oh, okay. Let's see. Oh, I see what you mean. Oh, goodness. You by chance have multiple uh, screens? Uh, I do. Because maybe it's just popping over there. Okay, I'm going to stop share and then... Okay, and now, try this again. Okay, is that, is this what you guys can see? Yep, now we can, okay. we can see it. All right, so let me go back really quick, um, just so you guys can see all of the outreach lessons that we are offering. Like I said, we offer chemistry, matter, astronomy, ecology. All of our courses are standard aligned, so, um, the national science standards. Um, but now that you've seen that, what I'd actually like you guys to see is a quick video, as long as you promise not to laugh, <laughs> of me taking a tour of our magnet program. Welcome to the Discovery and Center. Stop that. Yeah, it's terrible. It's really bad. It's you know, when I shot this video, our executive director was the person that was behind the camera and he was just like, ham it up. You're not doing enough. And I was like, I think I'm doing, I think it's fine. <laughs> um, so we're here in Springfield, Missouri, and we're a science center oops. that likes to make science and all types of learning fun. I'm going to take you inside so we can do a virtual tour of all of our exhibit halls. Some sure things to keep eye. in mind while we're touring. The secret word today is force. I want you to take note of how many times I say it and what you think force means. I also want you to pay close attention to the screen. Every so often, a question might pop up. I want you to think about it and write down your answer in your notebook. When we transition to our live class, we'll go over it to make sure we all understand. Let's go inside. So I do want to say um, really quick, um, I did have our education guides on the PowerPoint that I was using before, and those do have a, an educator coupon. So I know Aaron asked that any slides that we shared, we sent back out. So we will have a digital coupon that you guys can use um, for virtual field trips. And then also for um, any outreach lessons that you decide to book. All right, we're inside the Discovery School. Let's see what we can find. All right, and here we are. Welcome to the Discovery Center. So for each of these classes, we've got three questions that we just kind of use to level set with our kids to make sure that we're all on the same page. Before we begin our live lesson, we are in our phenomena exhibit, and so we're going to be investigating different types of forces. The first one we're going to look at is the gravitational force. Okay, can I see that box? Right? Well, let's take a closer look. Inside, I've got a magnet and a nail. Let's see what happens when I introduce this magnet to the nail. So each of the demos that we do in our virtual field trip uh, videos are demos that we send um, instructions for, so that way the teachers can do similar things. Um, for the virtual field trip, we've got a static electricity demo. We've got um, this uh, nail and magnet. We've got um, 
we've got an electromagnet. And so we'll send all of the instructions on how to do that um, with this video and with um, the PowerPoint. And so then what our kids will do after they finish the video is they'll log on and they'll be able to participate in a live class with an educator where they're able to ask questions about what they've seen um, and also be able to um, do some a couple of different lessons with us together. Um, in addition to this lesson, our chemistry um, track the reaction lesson is one that I think is incredibly popular. And that one we do an iodine clock reaction. Um, the kids also get a chance to experiment with their own, um, do an experiment to see which uh, reactants are responsible for um, a certain reaction that they see. Um, so it's called a reaction in a bag. I'm sure you guys have seen it. Um, but we asked the kids to, um, to separate each of the reactants and figure out which one is responsible for what thing that they see. Um, in addition to that, we have another tour called Being Me, where kids use cellulose and um, sodium alginate to create their own like little tissue. And it is pretty cool. Um, so I just got our 10 minute window. So I wanna make sure we have enough um, time for anyone to ask questions. Um, and if you'd like me to revisit any of our class slides, since I, sped through those and did not have them shared. Um, I would love to go back to make sure that everyone has all the information that they need. Does anyone have any questions? I have a question. You mentioned yes. um, coming to a site to do a presentation. Yes. Is there a mile radius that you, you use for that? Well, so we do charge mileage, but there is no, as long as we can get there in a day and come back in a day, it doesn't matter where we go. We will, we will go anywhere. So St. Louis, uh, Quincy, Illinois, doesn't matter. We've gone to Arkansas. Yeah, we will travel anywhere. <laughs> We've got a very cool little science mobile. Um, it's a stick shift, but it, it goes where we need it to go. Uh, how long would each like lesson be? Yeah, so that depends on um, what the school would like. So our virtual field trips tend to run about a full 60 minutes because you're doing a tour. Um, and then you're also then doing three different activities based off of that tour. Um, and it does take quite a while to get all of the kids' materials out. Um, but we also offer 30 minute programs. We do assemblies. So um, honestly, whatever a school or organization asks for, we try to meet that need. Okay, I'm gonna go back to our um, field trip, our outreach package. Um, so like I said, these are images of our guides. Um, but on the one thing that is not attached in the image is the digital coupon. Um, so our outreaches start at 150, but we encourage people to kind of stack them. And so you'll get a discount for every similar program that you do. Um, but then in addition, our virtual programs, we'd only charge per student. So it's $10 per student and our digital gift card is 20% off. So we're basically extending our member rate that our, um, that our teachers that visit us regularly get here, um, in Springfield, we're extending that to everyone who participated in this. Um, and I can send that out to anyone who is interested. Um, so yeah, all right guys. Well, thank you so much for allowing me to take up some time to speak with you guys about what we do here at the Discovery Center. Um, I really love what I do. The children that we see are children that um, 
I, we get a chance to see that little light bulb spark come on and they get a chance to interact with things specifically here in Southern Missouri that it's not often that they get a chance to see. So I want to thank you guys um, for listening. And um, actually, I think I have my information right here on this slide. Um, if you have any specific questions, you can reach out to me directly. Um, I would love to speak with you further. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you. You too.